This kind of film would have been intended to reassure Americans that they fought for a just cause in the First World War, which was especially important because there was actually quite a bit of backlash against World War I after it finished. This is the era when you start seeing America retreat into neutrality, the rejection of the League of Nations. Um, so this kind of film would have given a little bit of a boost in morale. Here you have a, a, a mascot brought over, probably snuck over by that American since I don't think dogs were technically allowed on the troop transports. And you can see the conditions under which the troop advancements were made. Uh, and uh, actually earlier, Mitch, you were suggesting that these battlefields today are farm fields and still they find unexploded ordinances. Yeah, it's, it's a miraculous that farmers are still able to use them and to grow whether it's wheat or they grow a lot of sugar beets, um, other produce because there's so much metal in the ground that's still found. Sadly, in, in too often farmers are maimed or killed when their plows go over the ordinance that um, still um, was unfired. This landscape was really devastated and these trench lines, many of them were not filled in and if you wander into the woods around some of these battlefields, as Mitch knows, you can just find trench lines and shell craters, barbed wire sticking up from the ground. These ghosts of the Americans and the British and the Germans and all of the combatants are still very much there in the land. Jump off, which is another synonymous term for World War I, meaning leaving the trenches or, or the open ground and heading forward. Through Amazing footage here. Wow. And through the wire.